If that to you is a bridge too far, guess what? There are, at the very least, tens of millions of Americans, could be hundreds of millions across the globe, we don't know the international numbers, who agree with you and stand with you. <laughs> so on Monday, <laughs> Governor Ron DeSantis threatened a bunch of out-of-the-box sort of expansion projects that are in the Disney World's special district. Here's uh, a clip from Governor Ron DeSantis. This guy really just does not give a rat's ass uh, in facing the behemoth that is Disney. Maybe, maybe have uh, another, uh, maybe create a state park, maybe try to do more amusement uh, parks. Uh, someone even said, like, maybe you need another state prison. Who knows? I mean, I just think that the, the possibilities are, 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 are endless. And so that is now going to be analyzed to see what would make, make the most sense. And, um, and that wasn't necessarily even on, our, on the radar. It's pronounced analyzed. But <laughs> his team also released uh, some uh, pictures uh, of what the prison's interior might look like. Mm. So that's something we're fortunate to oh. have. Yeah. Oh, jeez. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> Something's going to happen. He's especially good at the drag queen story. My, what a chick. <laughs> oh, my God. I'm just I love so the threats. He's like, yeah, you got some nice land there. I think we might be able to use that for the state. Yeah. <laughs> like, put a park, a and prison. This comes from the fact that, and this is your home state, obviously, yep. um, Mr. Brewer. Uh, DeSantis was announcing this new legislation. Well, some, a bunch of legislation, but this is kind of one of the more recent ones aimed at eliminating Div Disney's self governing power. This comes from a local affiliate. There is a bill that would put, uh, that will be put out in Florida sorry, the Florida State Legislature, that will make sure that the agreements purported to be entered into by Disney are revoked and the, people will, the people's will is established and is upheld. Uh, and just to keep in context, this little warm people like, oh, libertarians will say, oh, oh, why, why, you want the government to step in now? Well, no, no, this all, one of the legitimate purviews of government is to protect its citizens. And by the way, states have different rights than uh, the federal government, right? The state can do more than the federal government can. This all started over Disney's public opposition to Florida's parental rights bill, just to be clear. And that was that parents have the right to know what their children, that's from uh, NPR there, yeah, um, yeah. Uh, Hootie. Parents have the right to know what their children are learning and that you will do not, not discuss sexualized topics with children's ages K through 12. That was so offensive and so beyond the pale that Disney felt the need to come out and speak out against it. So what are they doing? Disney is saying, no, 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 it is a requirement in a free society, in a progressive society, that we hypersexualize your children ages K through 12. That's what Disney did. And yeah. so Ron DeSantis said that is actually violating the principle of uh, hurting our population, most notably our children, and it's our job as the government to ensure that you don't do so. Entirely appropriate. Yeah. By the way, I think it was actually worse. I think it was a K through three or K through fourth grade that they were actually saying that they could. K through three. Yeah. Yes. So when you say K through 12, it's like, oh, 18 year olds can't. No, 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 no. We're talking eight year olds. Oh, sorry. Maybe yeah. nine year olds talking about these things with their teachers. Yeah. K through mm -hmm. three. I apologize. You should admonish me. Uh, That's but close. You keep doing it. No, no, you can admonish me. <laughs> no, right. He uh, wants okay, it. Give me the. <sighs> Admonish. No, no, no. Go with the bigger admonish. No, no. That's a good one. That's no. a good one. That's a good one. We'll get a bigger one later. Here's something else that's interesting. Uh, DeSantis is kind of having this fight with Disney, but I like what I'm seeing with DeSantis. I would like to hear from you to comment your biggest concerns about DeSantis and Donald Trump. We've talked about this in the past. And I've said, you know, my concern with DeSantis is Donald Trump is similar to Bernie Sanders uh, in that uh, he is the one who certainly brings in the most amount of small uh, donations right, from, from more people. He still does have big donors, of course, but because he brings in so many small donations uh, from so many citizens, he's not nearly as beholden to big donors. And because so much of that money is going to Donald Trump, it requires that people like DeSantis, unfortunately, rely on a few bigger key donors. And my concern has always been, not that I know he would compromise that, but there is a pull to compromise right, yeah. if you have some more centralized donors. And this is why I like what I'm seeing with the whole Bud Light uh, fiasco and DeSantis speaking out against them. Here's Ron DeSantis speaking out against Bud Light and the, uh, the woke advertising. Do you want to drink Bud Light? I mean, like, honestly, th that's like them rubbing our faces in it. And it's like these companies that do this, if they never have any response, they're just gonna keep doing it. But it's part of a larger thing where corporate America uh, is trying to change our country. And so I think pushback is in order across the board, including with Bud Light. I would correct one thing, it's not even corporate America, it's a European company. 
Well, that's fair. Talk about Ann Azar Bush but in Corporations Beth. that are in America. Corporations that are in yeah. America, but that's also really important. Look, yeah. cap. I'm a free enterprise. I'm a capitalist. It ceases to work if you have external forces who do not have a vested interest in the success of your company, uh, in the success of your country, influencing your country. Free enterprise in the United States cannot work if China dictates policy yeah. as it relates to business in the United States. If Europe dictates policy as it relates to business here in the United States. Now you're you're no longer in the realm of free enterprise. Here's why that's so interesting. I don't know if you know this. Ann Azar Bush, they're pretty big DeSantis donor. Yeah. They're pretty big. They've donated to DeSantis. They have donated to Republicans. That is true. But the fact that he's willing to speak out against it, well, that's a, that's a good first chance up at bat to show that yeah. it doesn't matter if you give him the money. He's going to speak what he believes is right. Well, that's I, heartening I, to me. I hope he continues to do that. And by the way, he kind of painted himself into a good corner there. He basically said, when you just mentioned it, corporate America, he said, pushback is, is good across the board. Right. So it's not just limited to Anheuser-Busch. It's to these other companies that are doing things. <laughs> that aren't un-American, even if those companies happen to be donors to his political campaign because they play both sides. Yeah. No, so, you're absolutely good. right. And uh, are you a, DeS- you a DeSantis fan there, Jim? I am, but I see this all as just a genius, brilliant, evil uh, <laughs> mobster move where they're like, in order to, like George Soros being, in order to truly take down the machine to get our DeSantis in there, we'll go after Budweiser, but here's the play. Well, DeSantis, you will denounce them and take their money because they know we're still going to make money in Uganda and France and <laughs> Europe. We don't need the American dollar anymore. However, this can hurt Trump tremendously. <laughs> Why does your Soros sound like Alfred Hitchcock had a I don't stroke? Know. I know, right? That's, that's my best Soros. <laughs> He's like German. Just you know, twisted that, from evil. He went e- yeah, <laughs> Everything exactly. goes instant evil and talks in this <laughs> But I don't know, man. It's all... It's all a game to me. It's uh, I don't I don't like that DeSantis has Jed Bush by his side. I yeah. don't like mm-hmm. that DeSantis pushed the vaccine, and I don't like that DeSantis uh, locked things down and kind of pretends he didn't. Yeah, I, I don't like I don't like that uh, that Donald Trump pushed the vaccine a lot either. They, everyone did, yeah. and that's that's that again. Where I say politics is a great professional wrestling show. There's some of that, yeah. Careful. I do think there's a big difference between promoting the vaccine at that point when you believe it's help versus mandating it. And none of them went 100%. as far as mandating it. And 100%. so when you're voting for the lesser of two evils, it's people who wanted us yeah. to, by requirements to take the vaccine in order to be able to conduct business. But I do agree that, look, they both have pluses, they both have minuses. And yeah, there are some things I'm apprehensive about with DeSantis and obviously with Donald Trump. And by the way, I say this, I have to call balls and strikes. I hope yeah. this guy understands it. That was Ron DeSantis's response to Anheuser Bush, who have donated to his campaign, let's compare that to friend of the show Donald Trump Jr.'s mm. response to you, the American people's boycott to the tune of six billion dollars in market cap and sales down twenty something percent, over fifty percent in some markets. Here's Donald Trump Jr. The company itself doesn't participate in the same leftist nonsense mm. as the other big conglomerates. Frankly, they don't participate in the same woke garbage that other people in the beer industry actually do, who are significantly worse <laughs> offenders when I looked into it. But if they do this again, then it's on them. Huh? I, uh. It's like, Dad, you counted to three. Whoa, don't make me get to four. <laughs> <laughs> What's well? What's for? It's a, it's it's a trans. It's Buffalo Bill in a Budweiser can. Oh, God. <laughs> How much more severe does it have to be? How much ba- more badly do they have to screw up? Jim's about to lose his I, mind. I that one hurt. Yeah, <laughs> it it hurt on so many levels because I I listen. I I've come in contact with Don, and it just that exposes so much. Yeah, that it frightens me. Well, he's been on this show a lot, and he's a friend of the show, and I and I like him. But it's very, very, and you guys can comment below. I don't look. You can, well, if you don't mind, no, go, go, go. Sorry, if you don't mind, you can't say they don't participate. Yeah, you just Don. Yeah, I, I wish I wish I had a moment with Don before. Hey, listen, I know they donate a lot, but let, my, let, let this one go. Yeah. <laughs> We've got other beers that we can sponsor. Yeah. I mean, like, it was a bad move. Yeah, and no by the way, offense. if you're looking for a better beer, just look to any other beer that exists. <laughs> yeah. So it's not like you're limited. <laughs> and this is also, by the way, why I will say this, there, there are uh, people use the term grifter a lot. And I think that people often throw it around wrongfully, but it's why we don't, some people said, why don't you start a beer company? It would be of no value 
There are already tons of beer companies. Many, we've talked about Yingling. You guys yeah. have supported Yingling. If you don't get them there, there are plenty of, find your local brewer who creates the kind of beer that you like or stop drinking beer, whatever it is that you want to do. Yeah. The point is there are many options. If I were to come out here and sell you a $30 six pack, like you've seen some people out there doing, calling it freedom beer, whatever it is, guess what? <laughs> that would be me separating you from your money. That wouldn't be adding value. Now, when we do this show, when we do things like Change My Mind, when, when, this is an alternative that I know, it doesn't exist outside of this. So this is how we can add value. If there's a place we can add value, that's what we seek to do. I don't want to just take your money because you're conservative. That, for me, is a litmus test for Grifter. I'd like you to comment below if, if, if how you sort of measure it. Is there really a need for another beer in order to make your voices heard with Budweiser? Now, if it was something where there was no alternative, right. I would understand that. But this is not one. It's just a way to make more money. And that does worry me, and you see that come out every political season. I think it's incredibly out of touch. Look, isn't this – here's the thing. Wouldn't it be great if all conservatives, Republican representatives, looked at the groundswell here, looked at the groundswell, a boycott that is actually working. It's not really a boycott. It's really more of a cultural shift that is, that is foundational right now in how we move forward as a movement here on the right and said, oh, okay, there's some real momentum here. We hear you. And this is why people like Jim and many of you, if you're watching or listening right now, you feel defeated, right? You go, oh my gosh, what, what, if, if a $6 billion reduction in market cap in six days and sales going down double digits doesn't, if our own leaders who are supposed to fight for us don't come out and support, what do we have to do? Look, we hear you. You have done enough. It is enough. It should be enough. And anyone in leadership in the Republican Party who does not say that it is enough and does not have your back on this is not actively representing you. This is not a democracy. It is a constitutional republic, meaning you elect your representatives. And that means they should represent you. If you think that putting a delusional uh, a narcissist on a can of Bud Light in order to try and re-engineer re American society to believe that there is no such thing as gender, which is exactly what the attempt was, by the way. You can look at the vice president of marketing or whatever the hell their made-up term was. If that to you is a bridge too far, guess what? There are, at the very least, tens of millions of Americans, could be hundreds of millions across the globe, we don't know the international numbers, who agree with you and stand with you, ourselves included. I didn't really drink Bud Light, so it doesn't really, it's not really much of a sacrifice. Your leaders should be, you should require of them to stand with you because this is an easy one. And even for Ron DeSantis, it's an easy one. And I really do hope, and I probably will be sitting down with uh, uh, President Donald Trump mm -hmm. at some point in Mar-a-Lago here in the next, next couple of weeks, that, uh, that he does issue a statement on this, that he does make it clear. People make mistakes, they misspeak, but this is one that is a win. You do not have to give up. It's ground. You do not have to concede. And we're going to talk more about this and also about AI, I think, uh, yeah. here on Mugglebin. If you're watching on YouTube or if you're watching on Rumble, you can keep watching on Rumble because it's free this week. And then starting next week, what you are about to see for free will, of course, only be on Mug Club. JimBrewer.com. We're going to continue right now. YouTube. Hey, do you want to tell YouTube to piss off? I, I, I can't wait to, for the next. I'm, I'm chomping out the bit. I can't wait for the next hour. <laughs> it's champing, I found out. Oh. Champing? It's an equestrian term. I'm champing term. at the bit, I don't. It still doesn't make any sense, but it's, a, it's an equestrian. Okay, do you want to tell YouTube <laughs> to piss off? You want to do the honors? Well, YouTube still holds me a little bit, so just, 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 yeah, piss off for now. There you go. Watch Louder with Crowder live, Monday through Thursday, 10 a.m. Eastern.